Friday, January 12th is National Pharmacist Day, a day to be thankful for all the work our pharmacists here in Kentucky and around the nation do to keep us healthy. And right now I'm joined by U of L Health's Bob Fink, the Vice President of Pharmacy Services at U of L Health. Thanks for being here. Thank you. We appreciate it, Bob. And uh, so, so take us through uh, this National Day and just pharmacists in general and everything really that you guys do to help patients. It's, it's a lot that people sure. do sometimes forget about. Well, it's a great opportunity to celebrate the work pharmacists provide in ensuring the health of our community. So our pharmacists work alongside our physicians to, mm -hmm. to make sure that patients receive the best therapy. We also work to ensure that they have access to their medications. I was asking you a little while ago, about a few years ago, um, when so many online prescription drugs started getting, you know, big business. And a lot of pharmacists were worried it was going to hurt their jobs and, and also worried about the patient, that they wouldn't get that one-on-one -on -one with the patient and help them make sure they're taking the right medications. But you said, luckily, that really hasn't happened. And I, I'm guessing that's because people want that interaction with the well, pharmacist. Well, that's true. Oftentimes, they, they can still reach out to a pharmacist, uh, maybe virtual, uh, it could be phone, uh -huh. uh, it could be maybe uh, electronic communication in some other form, uh -huh. but it really hasn't made an impact on the profession. We're actually anticipating a shortage of pharmacists. Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm glad that the pharmacists are needed then. And speaking of being needed, uh, Mary and Elizabeth Hospital, the pharmacy there is now expanded. Tell people about it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, recently we opened a new uh, open door pharmacy to the community. Uh, so you don't have to have been a patient at Mary okay. Elizabeth Hospital. You can live in the community and, and walk in and receive your prescriptions from our store. Uh, you can even uh, drive up to the canopy, call the number, and we can bring your prescription to your car. Okay, and what was there before? Well, the, the previous owners uh, closed the, the pharmacy at that location, uh -huh. uh, but it's taken us a couple of years, so we have reopened a, a community pharmacy. But there are several uh, chain pharmacies in the community uh -huh. that have recently closed, and it, it's created uh, a challenge for people who live in that area to obtain their medications. So now they can come to the hospital and use our pharmacy. Okay. So again, anybody in the community can come use it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's a great thing. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thanks so much, Bob. We appreciate yes, you coming in. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Absolutely. Thank you.